three, two, one. Hello in YouTube land. Hello to my fellow subscribers. Hello to the new people to the channel. What you're looking at is Samuel L. Jackson, Mace Windu. This is the Mace Windu 12 inch figure came out years ago, back in the nineties, I think. Should have researched it. Don't remember. Uh, I never bought this figure, but I did find him recently at an antiques uh, store. Uh, the guy who owned the antique store, I forgot the name of the store. He was outside selling a lot of toys. Uh, he had a table set up. He was just trying to get rid of a lot of stuff. And he had this guy right here, just like this, for $3. Nobody wanted him. Nobody knew what it was. And he does have the Hall of Fame body style that has the 30th anniversary uh, articulation here. But then... Hasbro UK made this body here with the what they call the Action Man body. A lot more possibility. I wish Hasbro had continued the Hall of Fame line with this body, but they didn't. And it had some weird brown uh, threads hanging from here. I cut them off. They're probably part of the costume. Uh, he didn't have the upper part of the costume. I did find the costume on eBay, and they wanted like thirty-two dollars plus shipping. Which was just the top, which is weird. Like, I have the pants and the boots, but not the, the tunic and the Jedi robes and the lightsaber and all that. So, I said, why not dress him up as a G.I. Joe? See, I ordered this for 8 bucks: A Hall of Fame Desert Camel Mission Gear Pack. Realistic Desert Patrol Battle Fatigues, authentically style weapons and accessories. M16 missile launcher really shoots. Produced with all G.I. Joe Hall of Fame figures. Here's the back. Here's what you can get. The Hall of Fame Desert Camel Mission Gear. Specialized battle outfits and accessories. Fit all Hall of Fame trademark G.I. Joe figures. Look, we got this guy, Jungle Patrol, Desert Camel, which is this. Red Ninja. And uh, Mountain Assault Gear. And, of course, these are the Joes that were available back in the day when the 12-inch Renaissance was about. Yeah, the elbows couldn't bend very much. That's like as far as it would bend. So they would hold the guns weird, see? And then there's a, there's a file card there. Look at that. Fighting in the desert means survival of the fittest. The extreme temperature temperatures get so hot you can fry eggs. On a tank turret. In less than a minute. Okay. Uh, we're going to open this. Yes, we are. We're going to dress him up. But let's take his clothes off and see what he looks like underneath. Uh, and we'll armor all him also. Alright. Let's zoom down. Look at the process. Uh, let's see. Should have articulated ankles. Okay, that boot came up. Can use it later on, make a chair for something. <laughs> Custom uh, G.I. Joe Cowboy. Okay, pull the pants off. Because they are using elastic. And set that aside. Okay, pretty good articulation. It's a little thirsty. Needs a little armor all. Where's your armor all? Down here. There you go. Squirt some in there. Never had any probably before. Okay. Squirt it in the joints. So. The ankles don't need it, but uh, here in the elbows, the swivel arm. So yeah, we're going to turn Samuel L. Jackson into a G.I. Joe. Let's put some on his neck there. Oh, he turns it to waist too. Let's put some in the waist.
Might as well just cover them all up with it. Cover his head up with it, too. I got it over my hands anyway. What is Armor Alt? I don't know. Look, the vinyl's drinking it up. Like it's going out of style. See? The hands. Probably be a good idea to squirt your small three and three quarter GI Joes with it. See, Hasbro re-release Hall of Fame with this uh, with these arms. And that's greased up the boots. I got armor all over my hands, so why not? We're going to need it to grease up the ones in the package. They've been in there since the 90s. Okay. Close that up. Let them sit there. Yeah, I figured it should fit. Let's find out. Uh, the package weak here. Let's see. The glue stuck. We're going to have to use the box cutter of freedom. Yes, folks, the mighty box cutter of freedom. All right, let's pull back. Let's uh, take out the box cutter of freedom. Look, Bo the box cutter of freedom. Setting toys free since the beginning of this channel. Okay. Keep running the knife along the, the right there on the seam. Okay, that's good. Get the gear up. Okay, there's the shirt. There's the knife. There's the knife holster. There's the pants. There's the helmet. There's a boot. There's goggles. They're held, they're held in place with, with cello tape. There's the holster. There's the pistol. There's the wristwatch. Okay, there's a missile, two grenades. And let's get the M16 out. Alright, M16 is out. Okay, now, first order of business, let's grease up the boots. They look pretty stiff, pretty unforgiving. Well, them are all the inside. Grease it all up. Yeah, I remember these were like narrow right there at the ankle. You put your finger in there all the way, look. I remember General Norman Schwarzkopf designed the, the very first pair of uh, the Desert Camel Boots for G.I. Joe. He was asked by the company. So you just grease up the holster to stiff plastic. It should be softer, but uh, over time, you know, things get dried out. So just give it some, uh, give it some love. There you go. 
Look, we put the pistol in here. Make sure it comes out at the bottom there. See? Now, put that on there like that. And then fix this felt. The elastic, I'm surprised it's still... Uh, It's still good. It's been <laughs> it's been sealed. Now this is a Fritz style helmet, and uh, not covered with fabric. The higher end uh, figures, like the Duke figure, did have a. They were covered with fabric. Now let's put the armor all down here. Okay. Move this out of the way. And move this out of the way. Move that out of the way. Where's the knife? There's a nice look. It's got cello tape on there. Somebody's texting me. I'm shooting a video. Who's texting me? <laughs> I don't know. This way? Like that? Or the other way? Like this. Not sure. Hold on. <sighs> Who's texting me? Oh, it's Dr. Berg. Dr. Berg Nutritionals. <laughs> I'm in the middle of shooting, Dr. Berg. I'm in the middle of shooting. Yeah, Dr. Berg, uh, all that advice he gives is pretty, pretty damn good. Even though he's a chiropractor, he knows what he's talking about. I uh, like Dr. Berg. He's cool. All right. Let's see if it fits him. <laughs> oh, this hassle. Probably not going to fit him. It should. It, it is a Hall of Fame body. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Straighten his feet. And let's get these pants on. Should fit him real nice. Let's see. Yeah. Look. Put the Velcro on. And button it up. There you go. Now in this case, let's see. Let's figure out which boot goes where. I think these didn't have a left or a right. Let me just pour the armor all in there. Pour them in the, the ones he had on. I mean, I could use these again, but... And let's go with the the ones provided here. Yeah, so left and right doesn't matter. They're the same. Okay. Pants are narrow, so they're meant to be slipped on there. Okay, so hold it like this. Put it in like that. Not sure if it'll fit in there. Might not go in. Hold on. I'd have to show it some force here. Nah, it's too narrow. It ain't gonna make it. Alright. We'll use his boots that he has. Now these are right and left, so. Alright, hold your horse. I'll have to stretch those out with heat. <laughs> Should be a hybrid figure. I'm doing this off camera. Bear with me, folks. Bear with me. There you go. Look. Jedi boots with camo. Okay. It's fine. What about the shirt? Got a big piece of cello tape on there. Ancient cello tape. Says G.I. Joe. Okay. Let's check it out. Let's see what we can do here.
Okay, hold on. Doing it off camera too. Remember that? This outfit's old. Never been worn before. It's flat. It's giving me ha a hassle, actually. Come on. Let his arm in there. Yeah, those boots, I would have to heat them up with a heat gun or boiling water or a hair dryer. to get them on there. Okay, hold on. I think I got it. I think I got it. Straighten his arms out here. No, oh, no tag. This is G.I. Joe by Hasbro. It just says G.I. Joe on the front. It's got this big piece of Velcro. It's a good way to cheat. Instead of having to put buttons. Okay. Look at how he looks now. Mace Windu joined G.I. Joe. There you go. I was kind of stuck. Right here where the patch was. All right, let's see. Let's put the holster on him. Okay, right there. Okay. All right. <laughs> you see that? Hold on. Right there. Got the holster on there. Okay. Yeah, apparently people don't know you can use G.I. Joe sets, Hall of Fame sets on Star Wars figures. I think it's a good idea because, uh, you know, Samuel L. Jackson. Let's try to get this holster on him. Crooked. Hold on. He's always got his Rambo knife there. Still able to retain his existing boots. Is cool. What do you think? Wait, move up. There you go. Samuel Jackson as a G.I. Joe. <laughs> All right. Can put those boots somewhere.
Let's put the wristwatch on his hand here. Down, show the wrist. I don't know if these are a pain to get on there. There you go. Got the watch on there. Put it on the second one. Okay. There you go. See the watch right there. Got the watch on. Okay, got the survival knife on there. Not sure about this helmet though. Could try it. Yeah, it kind of fits him. the goggles. Let's do the goggles first. <laughs> yeah, it really wasn't meant for this guy. Let's see. See, it looks kind of strange. He's got a fat head. Uh, let's see. He should be able to hold the M16, though. No problem. Because remember, this one has the full articulation. Yeah. Got the gun. We'll take this off. We don't need this stuff. What the hell? Oh, hold on. It's not classic collection. They they were meant to hold the weapons. There you go. For three bucks, what, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven dollars, Samuel Jackson has joined the G.I. Joe team. And I've got these grenades. I'm going to put them in these boots. And it's got this rocket launcher thing. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to leave it here. In fact, I'll put all this in a Ziploc bag for future reference. All right, 24 minutes in, there you go. That's how <laughs> you find this guy at a thrift store, pick him up and order a, a, one of these suits off eBay. And uh, just know that the boots aren't going to fix. You're going to have to heat them up before you put them on. They're just very old. I mean, this, this is like from the 90s. I didn't even check the year. But the clothes does fit them. There you go. Samuel L. Jackson. Nick Fury. With G.I. Joe U.S. Army fatigues. Okay. 
G.I. Joe, U.S. Army. The tag inside, doesn't have, there's no tag in there. I, I wish I had a tag that said that, but I think Classic Collection started doing that afterwards. Loose thread, common. Yeah, I didn't want to leave him like that. I said, no, nah, get him an outfit. But uh, not $32 for a Jedi outfit. He's wearing the Jedi boots. It's okay. I'll find him another pair later. Uh, these are too narrow. Okay. They need to be heated up. I'll probably do that later. I don't know. Anyway, folks, hope you liked the video. As always, I'm sending out tons of positive love and energy. And I hope everyone's doing okay. And uh, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs down. Uh, share it. Comment on it. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what's going on in your neck of the woods. And I usually respond. So, uh, so I'm on the signing out. Have a good one. Bye-bye. I'll see you in the next video.